Are you looking for fun and educational activities to engage your students in learning about the weather? Look no further. Today, I've compiled five easy weather and science experiments that are sure to inspire and captivate your students. These hands-on experiments will not only teach your students about the important weather concepts, but also encourage them to think critically and explore the fascinating world of weather. Let's dive in. Hey there, educational rock stars. Welcome back to another episode of One Classroom Over. My mission is simple, to equip you with actionable tips, transformative stories, effective classroom systems, and expert insights for your K-5 classroom. I'm Farah, also known as the Center Fairy, your go-to guide for all things for simplifying your teacher life. Each episode dives deep into key facets of the teaching experience, from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional growth. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and click that bell so that you never miss out when I go live or drop a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of weather. So whether you're sipping coffee at home or binge watching while you prep lessons, crank the volume up and get ready for a dose of inspiration and empowerment. Let's dive in. Hands-on science experiments play a crucial role in your students' learning. They provide students with practical understanding of scientific concepts and encourage curiosity, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. When it comes to teaching weather, hands-on experiments can make the subject more engaging and accessible for young learners. By actively participating in experiments, your students become active learners rather than passive recipients of information. They can observe, make predictions, and draw conclusions based on their own observations. This not only helps them understand the concepts better, but also instills a sense of excitement and wonder about the natural world. Now, our first experiment is exploring the water cycle. The water cycle is an essential concept in understanding weather patterns and precipitation. This experiment will allow students to observe and understand in the different stages of the water cycle in a hands-on manner. The materials you need are a clear plastic cup, plastic wrap, ice cubes, and water. First, fill the plastic cup up with water, leaving a few centimeters of space at the top. Second, place a piece of plastic wrap tightly over the top of the cup, ensuring it's sealed. Third, place a few ice cubes on top of the plastic wrap. Fourth, place the cup in a sunny spot, such as a windowsill or even outdoors. Fifth, Observe the cup over time and record the changes. Now the heat from the sun causes the water in the cup to evaporate, turning it into water vapor. As the water vapor rises, it comes into contact with the cooler plastic wrap and condenses into droplets. These droplets eventually accumulate and fall back into the cup, simulating the process of precipitation. This experiment allows your students to witness the water cycle in action and understand how water transforms from a liquid to a gas and back to a liquid again. By using this experiment, your students gain a firsthand understanding of the water cycle and its role in weather patterns. They can also learn about the importance of water conservation and the impact of human activities on the water cycle. This experiment provides a solid foundation for further exploration of weather-related topics and fosters a sense of curiosity and wonder about the natural world. The water cycle is a fundamental concept in understanding weather patterns. This experiment allows your students to witness the process of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation in action. Here's another experiment. Fill a clear glass or jar with water, leaving some space at the top. Place a small plate or lid on top of the jar. Leave the jar in a sunny spot for a few hours. Observe the condensation forming on the plate or the lid. As the condensation accumulates, it will eventually drip back into the jar, mimicking the process of precipitation. This experiment not only teaches students about the water cycle, but also demonstrates the concept of evaporation and condensation. And they learn how water changes from its state from a liquid to a gas and back to a liquid again. Now here is a second experiment. Measuring rainfall is an essential part of understanding weather patterns as well. With this simple experiment, students are gonna create their own rain gauge and track rainfall in their area. Here's what you need. A clear plastic bottle, such as a soda bottle, a ruler or a measuring tape, a waterproof marker, scissors, and masking tape. First, 
Cut off the top of the plastic water bottle, creating a funnel shape. Invert the top portion and place it inside the bottom portion of the water bottle. Use masking tape to secure the two pieces together. Mark measurements on the side of the bottle using a ruler and waterproof marker. Then, place the rain gauge outside in an open area away from trees or buildings. After rainfall, measure the amount of water collected in the gauge. By creating their own rain gauge, students can actively participate in data collection and analysis. They're also going to learn how meteorologists measure rainfall and how it contributes to understanding weather patterns. Now let's talk about experiments that can help them investigate the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a crucial concept in understanding climate change. This experiment allows your students to observe how greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere. Here's what you'll need. Two clear plastic containers, such as jars or cups, two thermometers, plastic wrap, and rubber bands. First, fill both containers with the same amount of water. Place a thermometer in each container. Cover one container tightly with plastic wrap, securing it with a rubber band. Leave both containers in direct sunlight for a few hours. Then observe and record the temperature readings in both containers. Students will notice that the container covered with plastic wrap has a higher temperature. This demonstrates how greenhouse gases, like the plastic wrap, trap heat and contribute to the warming of the Earth's atmosphere. Now let's talk about creating a cloud in a jar. Cloud formation is a fascinating weather phenomenon that can be easily demonstrated with this experiment. Here's what you need. A clear glass jar with a lid, boiling water, ice cubes, and matches or a lighter. Fill the jar halfway with boiling water. Place a few ice cubes on top of the water. Quickly close the lid and let the jar sit for a few minutes. Light a match or use a lighter to create smoke. Lift the lid slightly and introduce the smoke into the jar. Close the lid tightly and swirl the jar gently. As the warm air from the boiling water rises and comes into contact with the cold lid, condensation occurs, creating a miniature cloud inside the jar. Introducing smoke helps make the cloud more visible. Now we're gonna talk about understanding wind. Understanding wind direction is essential in predicting these weather patterns. With this experiment, students can build their own weather vane to observe and track wind direction. Here's what you need. A plastic straw, a small piece of cardboard or paper, a pen or thumbtack, a pencil with an eraser, and a compass. First, Cut the cardboard or paper into an arrow shape. Attach the arrow to one end of the plastic straw using the pen or thumbtack. Insert the other end of the straw into the eraser of the pencil, making sure it can rotate freely. Use the compass to determine the directions and label them on the cardboard arrow. Place the wind vane in an open area away from obstructions. Then observe the direction the arrow points to determine the wind direction. By building their own wind vane, students can actively engage in tracking wind direction and understand its significance in weather forecasting. While these experiments are safe and suitable for your elementary students, it's essential to take some precautions to ensure a safe learning environment. Here are a few guidelines to follow. One, Adult supervision is recommended, especially when handling potentially dangerous materials like matches or sharp objects. Two, ensure proper ventilation when conducting experiments that involve smoke or chemicals. Three, remind students to wash their hands thoroughly after handling any materials. Four, emphasize the importance of not ingesting or tasting any of the materials used in the experiments. By following these safety precautions, your students can enjoy the learning experiences while staying safe. If you're looking for more weather science experiments and activities to engage your students, I'm going to share with you some additional resources to check out. First, online platforms like Khan Academy and National Geographic Kids offer a wide range of weather-related lessons and experiments. Two, your local libraries often have books specifically tailored for young learners interested in weather science. Three, Weather-related apps and websites such as WeatherWiz Kids and NASA's Climate Kids provide interactive resources and games for your students to explore weather phenomenon. By utilizing these resources, you can expand your repertoire of weather-related experiments and keep your students excited about the wonders of science. It's clear that the world of meteorology is not just about data and forecasts. 
It's a gateway to a deeper understanding of our environment and an opportunity to spark a lifelong love of science in your students. These experiments are more than just activities. They are tools that empower your students to become inquisitive, hands-on scientists eager to discover the mysteries of the world around them. Through experiments like creating a rain gauge or building a weather vane, they are just learning about weather, they're developing critical thinking and problem solving skills. By encouraging them to ask questions, make predictions, and analyze results, we're not only teaching them about meteorology, we're helping them cultivate a scientific mindset that is going to benefit them in all areas of learning in life. One of the greatest strengths of these experiments is their simplicity and accessibility. By using everyday materials, science becomes less intimidating and more relatable. This approach demystifies complex concepts and shows students that science is not just something you read about in textbooks. It's happening all around them every day. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.